many of Hong Kong's luxury malls that were built targeting Chinese tourists, ready to splurge on designer handbags and watches, are now sitting quiet and empty. For more, let's bring in our Bloomberg reporter Shirley Zhao, who's been focusing on one particular mall, Li Ka Shing's, uh, over in the Chim Sao Choi. Tell right. us a bit more about what you saw. So basically, the mall used to have, you know, luxury tenants from Tiffany yeah. to Chopar to Cartier. Um, but nowadays, you know, of more than 30 units in the mall, only three are occupied. Uh, and they're by, you know, an obstacle uh, 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 shop and, you know, two watch shops. Is this emblematic of what we could see happen to other sort of luxury retailers in the city? We have already seen, for example, you know, Hong Kong's top shopping districts like Tim Sa Choi and Causeway Bay. They used to be the world's most expensive in terms of rent, but now their sort of ranking has decreased and the prices have fallen behind, for example, the Fifth Avenue in New York. So um, we have seen, you know, rents coming down by as much as 90 percent compared with before COVID. So Hong Kong's top luxury shopping streets have already been been in decline and analysts are saying they don't expect recovery to happen very soon at least you know not full recovery back to the sort of 2013 and 2014 which was the peak period for Hong Kong's luxury shopping yeah Yvonne needs to go on one of her epic weekend what? shopping rampages <laughs> that, that, that might be able to salvage the sector here yeah. but the decline in rent and I think some of the on the silver lining some of the stories in the recent weeks was it's attracted some high profile tenants right so I think Prada is opening up quite a big one. I'm very excited for that. Um, Abercrombie. Abercrombie and Fitch yes. is coming back. So there is a silver lining here. Right, there is. And um, for major landlords, this is good news because major landlords, for example, like people like New World, people like CK Asset, people like Sung Hong Gai, mm. they have a lot of flexibility. They can offer much bigger spaces for luxury brands, which are really in trend nowadays because luxury brands are racing to open bigger shops to, to provide unique experiences for shoppers. Um, but for street level shop owners, there isn't really really much they can do to sort of reverse their fate.